Oh my lord! Come on, here, lose a finger if you're not careful. Oh, what? He's mobile. Look at him. Oh, really? Oh, he's mobile. Get it. Get it, Ralph. Oh, God. Dude, Ralph. Dude, Ralph. Oh, it's gone. It's gone. So all these guys sitting right here. It's not going to get catch clean cooked today, but we are going to catch clean cook something that is in this pen, living in this pen. Shit. Look at that steam, boys. Oh, look at. Oh, dude. It's falling apart. All right. With the barbecue sauce, with the bun. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Well, we've got a huge announcement as you guys know or maybe you don't know I'm here to inform you that today right now link down below beefcake jerky peppered brand new flavor beef peppered is now available But it's only available on the app right now starting at 6 p.m. Central It'll be live on the website at 7 p.m. So you've got early access if you download the app which is linked down in the description down below plus you save 10% if you get the app. So we're starting a brand new app. We just launched it and we're going to start doing app exclusive drops, early access to products like this one. That doesn't mean you have to download the app to get the product, but I can't guarantee you that we won't be sold out by the time the website is live at seven. So we want to do a one hour early access to the beef pepper. You guys have been commenting it. You want the beef pepper. So we even made it better. Okay. Not only are we just dropping the jerky, we decided to let's drop a bundle, okay? And this bundle is a bundle of joy. Okay, Banjo, what do you got there? Happy birthday. We've got this, look at that, peppered looking hat. I mean, come on now. That right there, what Banjo's holding, that is a pepper hoodie, okay? And it's custom with the beefcake jerky down the sleeve. Never done that before. Okay, custom little center bowl. You've even got the little metal dongles. Your favorite, metal tips. Metal, yeah, big metal tip guy. And that's a thermal hoodie, okay? We got super high quality, heavy duty hoodie that will get you nice and warm for this winter. And then it comes with three packs of the brand new beef peppered, all in one giant box. Plus, of course, we could not forget the sticker and the koozie. So you get the hat, the hoodie, the koozie, the sticker, and three packs of jerky, and all the jerky in there is practically free because our bundles are discounted, as you know. And if you want an extra 10%, you just have to download the app. You'll get the discount code in there. Get an extra 10% off your bundle. Like I said, this is the exclusive peppered only drop. It's the only flavor we have. It's the only flavor that's available. And when this bundle is gone, it is gone for good. And we're probably going to be another three or four weeks before we get any more jerky in. So if you guys want to try the peppered, you get a sweet exclusive hoodie with it, exclusive hat, you get the koozie, and like I said, the jerky in it is practically free. So link down below to get the app, get the discount, early access. If you're watching this after 7 p.m., you don't have to go to the app if you like spending an extra 10%. Listen, that's between you and your financial advisor, okay? I'm just letting you know there's a way you can save 10% over at the app. If you don't want to download it, you don't have to, but you're going to have to wait until 7 p.m. CST to get access to the bundle. Like I said, link down below, bkjerky.com, as well as the app. Let's get back to the episode. Shoo! Plot twist, starting the day off at Walmart. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into Walmart for a couple reasons. We're going in to get some nice, delicious treats for some of the backyard farm animals, but we're also going to get the ingredients for a backyard farm animal catch clean cook. And we're not going to tell you what we're eating quite yet. You'll know here shortly, uh, but we're going to go in and get some snacks for everybody. We haven't given the rabbits anything, which they may be on the catch and cook menu. We haven't given Deb little Debbies, which she might be on the catch and cook menu as well. Plenty of other animals on the farm that we could potentially catch clean cook. But like I said, we're going to go in and get a bunch of snacks for everybody, feed everybody, hang out, and then eventually it's going to be time for at least one or a few of them to be blinded by the light. So we'll see you guys inside. All right, so starting off, we're gonna focus on snacks and then we're gonna focus on the recipe. And what we're gonna be making is a universal dish. That means no matter what animal that we harvest at the farm today, it should work. We're going after pulled barbecue sandwiches. Okay, like Instapot, slow cook that way for whatever we harvest is tough meat. It should get nice and tender. Put it on a sandwich, smothered barbecue sauce. It's gonna be fire. So we'll get the ingredients for that. We'll show you how we're gonna do that. But first, and you got some celery? Yeah. Which anything can eat celery. We got the goats, okay, the rabbits can eat celery. What's going on there? One of these. What is that? I don't know. Rutabaga. What the hell's a rutabaga? I don't you know. Said what that like you, you're like, ah, oh, rutabaga. Oh, yeah, I got rutabaga. it. Rutabaga. What about this? You got to. Right. Ralph's a big eggplant. Yeah, Ralph, he, oh, he knows his way around an eggplant. Now, that's that sufficient. That one's that's enough? Yeah, that's right. enough. Some nice carrots. Carrot sticks. I want to see Theo eat one. All right, Theo Theo likes some nice sticks. All right, so let's see. What else? Maybe a head of lettuce. The goats like lettuce. There you, there you go. Okay, yeah, it's, it's going to be feeding frenzy today, boys. Oh, yeah, you know we could come here. 
without getting Big Deb her last meal. Did I say that? I mean, just a snack. Uh, Deb's, huh? The classics. She oh, loves yeah. these. She likes, she likes snowballs? Yeah, no one likes snowballs. Coconut? I want to try one. You've never had a snowball? I've never had a snowball. All right, just going to try a snowball. I can tell you right now they're not going to be any good because it's coconut. You eat coconut. I'm getting some nibbles. What do you think about really? this thing? What do you think about a little nibble bar? What about the hamburger? Oh, should we get them, a, should we get them some, some chews? Yeah. Really? What about, oh, they got the, a stuffed log. What's it stuffed with? What's it, yeah, what's oh. in it? Oh, seeds? Really? So this Seals. is for rabbits. We're going to try to get some... Oh, they, I, this is for birds, but they like stuff like that, too. Oh, there's a little gerbil on it. Oh, it's a, oh there you go. Yeah, that'll, that'll work. Like that. Oh, God, yeah, they'll like that. Right. Oh, yeah, the, the sticks. Grab, grab one of the, the treat sticks. Smackers. Like yeah, guys? yeah, grab that guy. All right. There you go. I like that. That's good. All right, rabbits, check. All right, like I said, we're doing barbecue sandwiches. So really simple. The reason we're keeping it simple is because we're not exactly sure how it's going to turn out. But what we do know is that the go-to barbecue sauce is our boy Sweet Baby. Sweet Baby don't miss. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I want some good old Jack Daniels. I've never tried it, I'll be honest with you. All right, so there, and then let's go find some nice, we need some like high quality buns, like none of the Wonder Bread BS, okay? We're only getting the best for this meal. Is that fancy enough or no? Perfectly crafted. Yeah, I don't know. Sure. All right. Big coleslaw guy. All righty, folks, there you have it. That's what we're getting for the Catch Queen Cook Plus for the animals. Hopefully they're gonna enjoy the snacks. We'll see you guys at the farm. Shoo! All righty, folks, now we're not the animals. Finally, Deb, I hate to say it. Deb, I feel so bad. You look, oh, poor, we can't do, we can't do that to Deb, Banjo. She, oh, look at poor Deb. Deb, guess what? It's not your day today, Deb, don't worry, okay? I, I got you for a second. I got, Deb, Deb, you know what today is? Snowball like day. pulled pork, though. But we'll do some pulled something. We're just, we're, we're yeah. Deb's too, there's no way that's good. The oh, it's the, brown? The, the coconut. Coconut's the only good thing in it. Really? It kind of looks like uh, what do you the the cup? It's the cupcakes with the swirls on the top. What do you call that? It's not a ho. Is that a ho ho? No. You know what I'm saying? The white swirls. It's a, it's the cupcake. What? You, you guys will look at me like I'm I nuts. Know what you're, you're, you're telling me a Hostess cupcake. Jeez, stick that in my Hostess cupcake. Yeah. White frosting and it's and it's in like little circles, like little. A zebra cake. <laughs> what are you saying? How are you guys? I gotta find this out now. Oh, is a, a, this. a ho ho is the little is the are is they, the. Um, just start naming them off. There's well, zingers. I no, not zinger. Ding dong. No, not no, not ding dong. Hostess like, cupcake. It's it's gonna pop up in a half second. No, no, no. Oh, it's chocolate cupcake. Yeah. Yeah, they are called I'm cupcakes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, damn. You ain't seen them. You described that oh. awfully. Oh, chocolate cupcake with white what frosting is, swirls. What about that? Looks like this though. Yeah. The inside. I think it's made out of the same Feel thing. Feel this. Oh, hang on. Give it's me a second. Here. This is the same thing as a Hostess cupcake. Is what I'm saying. And then they just put a blanket of ass on oh, it. Oh, you peeled it off. Yeah. yeah. But is there a marshmallow in the cupcake? There's marshmallow in this. Oh, that's just cream. Cream. It's not marshmallow. It's cream. Marshmallow. <laughs> oh, really? Taste it. it. Tastes like a marshmallow. Not cream. no. The inside of it's fine. It's got an inside. Oh, you peeling it out like that. This is not coconut. I don't like. I don't like coconut. Yeah, coconut's whack. Here you go, Deb. Get it, Deb. Get it, Deb. Deb says that's ass. <laughs> Why the hell is it? You have coconut. Well, Deb, we brought your favorite. Pepper jerk. Yeah, I'm just kidding. I'll blow your ass out. You big eggplant guy, Deb? I don't like. Deb, Deb don't look like a vegetable kind of guy. <laughs> no. No. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, Deb. You ain't gonna like it, Deb. She's, she just don't know what it is yet. Is Deb really? Golly, Deb. Oh my lord. Deb, you like that, Deb? I have a hard time believing that. God, yeah, Deb. All right, he is for, this show's for kids. Are you out of your mind? She actually, she actually likes that, huh? Yeah, should I give it to her? I don't think anything else is going to eat it. You're the only... Oh, no. She's choking on him. <laughs> She's choking. She's spinning it right back up. There's no way Deb likes that. Oh my god. Deb. You don't think so? What that mouth do, Deb? Golly. Hey, take it easy. Oh my lord! Oh, you're gonna lose a finger if you're not careful. Not the sticker, Deb. Deb, she really likes eggplant. There's no, I have a hard time believing that. We also don't know if pigs can have eggplant, so. You know what I know she can't have? Because she hadn't died yet? These suckers, these are fire. Hey, wait a minute. Get, oh, get, get mobile, get, get mobile. Hey! Hey! Sniffs only on this one, Deb. Like that jerky? Yeah. Hey, at least it's beef. That'd be messed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get in there, Deb. Get in there, Deb. That's a good Deb. Yeah, that's yummy, huh? We could never eat Deb. No. Deb's big chillin'. Do you want a friend? I feel like you're doing okay on your own, but a lot of the viewers think that you need somebody to hang out with you. Jumbo honey bun, Deb. Just for you, buddy. It's your favorite. Because you've been such a good girl. There you go. Yeah, Deb. Deb. Yeah. Oh, god dang, Deb. Is that yummy or what? 
Bam. Well, Deb's taken care of. I'll give you this, Deb. You want one of these, Pandro? Sure. One left. Then it's all Deb's. With the jerky or no? Is that not a good combo? Hey, Deb! Deb's about to mow me over. Alright, well, we're not cooking Deb. Real question is. I'm not gonna say no. What's the real question? Directly to the weast. Looks like a lot of tasty meat over there. We're talking about the rabbits. Theo! It's your lucky day, buddy! What do you think? Slow cook or pan fried or. I'm just kidding. We couldn't cook Theo. Theo's our boy. Theo ain't do nothing wrong. He produces too. Yeah. Yeah, you produce, you stay on the farm. You know what I mean? Theo, you want some snacks, buddy? We got carrots, celery, banjo's got some nice snacks as well. Here you go, Bubba. Theodore. Oh, Theo's mobile. Come here, Theo. Oh, oh, get it, Theo. You're about it. Look at them teeth. Look at those freaking chomps, Theo. Want some quiche? I think his, he don't have great eyesight, I feel like. Oh, there he goes. He's eating the old quiche. The old quiche. Tell quiche. me that's not a quiche. That is a quiche. Yeah. Good Good Lord, son. Son. Theo, what'd you just eat? Some celery. Without ranch? God, these things. <laughs> He's a rabbit. <laughs> Yeah, you, you know you're going to like the carrot. Get in there, Theo. Don't be shy about oh, it. yeah. Don't be shy about it, Theodore. Get <laughs> it, buddy. Oh, Theo likes carrots. There you go. All right, Theo. We'll leave that one here for you. Now, although we can't take Theodore out because he's our boy, we do have seven pesky, tasty little fur guys over there that they, they need a home. We either got to build them a new home or Banjo's going to put them in their stomach. What do you think? What do you think? What's that? What happened? Rabbit soup. Soup? Pretty good. Soup? I like soup. All right, let's go see which one we're going to take home. Big Mama, it's your time. Well, these guys already have some grain, so they may not be super mobile and active for some carrots, but they might. Get it, Mom. Oh, God, yeah. yeah Mommy's about it. What the hell did you just put on the ground? I don't know. Is that supposed to be sushi? Is that is that food? Wait, are we sure that's edible? What is that? Oh, buddy's going for it. chew, yeah. A chew? But this is wood. That's, that's wood. Oh yeah, Banjo, this ain't it. This, this is not for rabbits? No, I don't think so, no. I think it's for hamsters or something. Yeah, no, this is not food. No, uh, no, this ain't why food. Why do they have a rabbit on it? No, this ain't food. These are This is a piece of wood and cardboard. Look at her, dude. She's Ooh. getting it. Hey, not the shoes, not the <laughs> shoes. Hey. By the nibbles. What the hell is that? A little corn dog action? A little strawberry. <laughs> she ain't about it. She likes the carrots. She got a chew. Hey, hey, buddy. You want some? Hey. Is he want, little is man's he, about is he, is he oh, yeah. Lick it. Really? Oh, yeah. oh. Might just, oh! What? He's mobile. Look at him. Oh, look really? At, oh, he's mobile. Look at him. What's he doing? Are you eating stuff again? <laughs> All right. Well, she <laughs> likes she likes carrots. Not sure about the celery. They, hey, watch the shoes. They do like the little, your little corn dog thing, which is good. But no, we are not going to be catching and cooking these guys. They're too cute, man. How could you do that to this? Little, look at this little guy. How could you do that to him? Hi, huh, mommy. They're way too cute. They might they may taste good, but. I personally think they're too cute. We either gotta sell them or, dude, she is about that carrot. She stays steady with that carrot right there. Hey, hey, I felt that. Sucker <laughs> bite you? He bit my toe. All right, so we're not gonna kill the rabbits. We're not gonna go after Deb. Let's move over to the big animals and see which one of them is gonna hit the Instapot today. You guys stay tuned. Rick, I know we've, we've had, <laughs> you're out of here, pal. You're gonna be up next. Rick, I know we've had a long relationship, but I feel like it's time finally come down to an end. Dale, you're next on the list. Dale, you keep you're up all your shenanigans. We're going to have an issue. Ralph, don't count yourself out quite yet, okay? You got lots of meat on you. I've always heard that uh, camel back strap around the, around the hump is extra tender. So all these guys sitting right here, everybody you see is not going to get catch clean cooked today, but we are going to catch clean cook something that is in this pen, living in this pen. I can see them right over there, but first we got to go ahead and get Ralphie some nice lettuce. What do you think about that, big boy? There it is. Oh, yeah. Get it, Ralph. Get it, buddy. Yeah. Dale, you want some, Dale? Dale. Look at that, Dale. Get it. Get it, Dale. With that mouth, dude. Dale, let's see it. Get in there, Dale. Don't let him do that to you, Dale. Get in there. There it is. They they all like lettuce. That is one thing that our animals are always like. Oh, nothing we picked up off camera. This guy. This is for the chickens, actually. Yeah. Banjo's seen some TikTok where if you kind of just like pilot start like a carving of a pumpkin. Ralph. Make a bunch of holes in it. Hey. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? Yeah, so like 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 the little triangles. Yeah. You just kinda like carve out a little bit and then they peck the rest of it. And I guess they carve your pumpkins for they you. Work for you. Is what is what we've been told. So we're gonna go ahead and see if it's factor cab. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, like give them a few of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Two eyes yep, yeah. yep oh. that'll do it. Yep. <laughs> Why do we have so many freaking roosters? We are gonna be harvesting several several Dale! 
You do that one more time, Dale, and you're gonna get it. Oh, <laughs> man down. Oh, Ricky. Should have brought the old eggplant for you, buddy. I know you're about that. That, oh my, not in one go. No way, no way. He's gonna do it in one go. I've never seen, oh, yeah, never mind, he's out. Get it, right. get it, get it, Ralph. I think you gotta bring it back. Oh God, dude, Ralph, dude, Ralph. Oh, it's gone, it's gone. He uh. eat the whole thing. All right, Ralph, just like good old times. We haven't done it yet it's at the new property. There you go, we go. Hey. Ow, that was close. That was real close. All right, Dale. Dude, he houses them carrots, though. Get it, Dale. Let him. Oh, I thought you were going to let him you lick ripped you. ripped it out. Really? Imagine your teeth just fall out. <laughs> Take the it chicken. in there. Hey, hey, it's a knife. Do you think he could just, like, crush that whole pumpkin? Oh, yeah. All right, he might choke. <laughs> hey, buddy, that was pretty impressive. I'll give it to you. What that mouth do? This is your. Oh, oh he's Ugh. just. Never mind. He's what? He's, he's spitting. That's what he's doing. What are you doing, buddy? Is that yummy? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I feel like I've teased it long enough. Once and for all, we are going to harvest multiple animals that are living in this pen. But it's not going to be Dale, unfortunately. It's not going to be Big Boy Ralph. It's not going to be, I don't have a name for you, but it's not you. Okay. What it is going to be, though, are these pesky, little, dirty, non-egg producing ducks. Muscovy ducks. We're taking you guys out today. There's like four of them. I see two under the trailer and two right here. These Muscovy ducks, you guys don't remember, we bought them because we thought that they would lay eggs. Okay. Oh, Ralph, get the pumpkin, Ralph. Oh, no, Ralph, don't choke. Ralph, don't choke. Take, no, Ralph, 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 why are you, why you licking the stem, Ralph? Ralph, leave it for the chicken. There you go. Leave it for the chickens. We bought like four or five of them thinking, man, these suckers are going to lay some nice eggs. We've heard big duck eggs are good. And what I didn't realize is that they were all males, which contrary to what you hear on the news, they don't lay eggs. You know what I'm saying? Nope. How's that going? You almost done with that bag? Yeah. Is that bag number two or what? Is that still bag number one? Number three. You were, yeah. Hey, yeah. you can't have any. What do you think, buddy? You got a good snack? <laughs> so we are going to take out Dale. Dale, what are you doing? Chew it up first. Dale, you're going to choke, Dale. Oh my God. Dale, you're going you're gonna to choke and die, Dale. So we are going to take out the Muscovies. We've been trying to... Carol, what the hell, Carol? Where are you been? Carol. Move on over here, Carol. We are going to take out the Muscovies. we got to figure out a way to do it uh, efficiently and effectively. A couple ideas we have besides just a gat, okay? Uh, we've got a cast net. You guys saw in the last episode, I got pretty good at the cast net. But we got to distract these guys because if we start throwing cast nets and ducks start flapping around, Ralph starts high sticking, we're all dead. Okay, we can't have that. So we're going to try. Are they actually pecking at it? Yeah, they're carving it now. Look at them now. They're doing it. So we're going to try to go in the animal pen. we got to feed everybody and get them distracted. We're going to go in there with nets and cast nets and try to capture all the Muscovies and get them in the old, the old catch, clean, cook cone, as you see right over there, okay? Like I said, barbecue style. We might even try, like, even a second recipe because the way we're cooking it now with the barbecue is going to take a while. While we're waiting, maybe we chef up, like, a little steak or something like that. I'm not exactly sure what the plan is. But once and for all, we're going to take these guys out from the backyard pond, they dirty the water, they don't lay any eggs, and when I bought them from the auction, everyone that I was bidding against said they taste delicious. So we're gonna find out today if that's fact or cap. You guys stay tuned. The time has come. <laughs> Dad, you might have to flush them like a bird dog. Oh, they're coming out over here. Swing it. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. You I, got two. I got two, You got two? two. I got two. No, oh, no, he's getting out. Okay, I got one. I got him. Damn, look at them talents, son. God. All right. We got one down, three more to go. Oh, oh Rick. Get him, Banjo. Get him. Get him, Banjo. Get him. Get him, Get him. Get him. Oh, he got him. Oh. No, no, he's out. Hey. Hey. He's mobile. Hey. Hey. Got him. Hey. Two down, two more to go. All right, one of them snuck in the chicken coop. This should be easy. Come here, ducky, ducky. Hey, you calm down, you un-egg producing son of a gun. It's gonna taste pretty good. You guys stay tuned. Blinded by the light. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. Well, we've got one of them here, and we're gonna show you guys how we're gonna prepare this guy. Now, one of them, we're just gonna go ahead and brust out and have no skin or nothing, and that one's gonna be 
the pulled uh, what it, Muscovy pulled Muscovy duck. This one, on the other hand, we're gonna try to pluck and leave the layer fat. What I've heard is that their fat is really good, and then we can cook it more like a steak. So this is gonna be on uncut. If you guys want to see this, obviously we can't put it on YouTube. So. Shoo! Alrighty, folks. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with the Instant Pot, which is hopefully gonna tenderize these bad boys. As you guys know, we're gonna cook them two different ways. We're gonna start with this, get this started, and as this is cooking, then we're gonna go ahead and cook one as a steak. I feel confident in this. This this little guy right here, this thing in the panini press never let me down. Like, no, never had anything bad. Never before. had anything go bad. So we're gonna go ahead and try to make Instant Pot Muscovy duck, and we're gonna turn it into pulled barbecue duck, like pulled pork, but with duck. So we've got the breasts all cut up, trimmed up, ready to rock and roll. Those guys are going into the Instapot, okay? And then we've got just a whole bunch of good stuff, including some classic beef bone broth. So you can cook it in just water, if you don't want it to taste like anything. You can do chicken broth, chicken stock, but I prefer beef, just because we're, we're kind of going after that more of a dark meat vibe versus a, uh, a chicken vibe. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this in. Just gonna give it the, the liquid juice to kind of marinate and sit in. Banjo recommended some apple cider vinegar because you said it, it tenderizes it. Nice and tendy. Woo, that smells like ass. We're just gonna call that good there. There's not a ton of meat, so I don't think we need a ton. So apple cider vinegar is in. Of course, Worcestershire. It's always good stuff. Mm -hmm. We're going to spritz a little bit of that in there. And then we've got two duck seasonings, one of them smoky barbecue, since we're doing barbecue. Let's go ahead and chuck a little bit of that in there. And then we've got, you spill it off for you. Really? And then we got all meat, which works good for everything. Throw that in there. And last but not least, we've got some barbecue sauce. Since we are doing barbecue, go ahead and we'll drizzle some in there, like so. So I'm gonna go ahead and just wing the time on this. And I'm gonna probably shoot for maybe 25 minutes of cooking, cooking, but a natural depressurize. So if you guys don't know anything about Instant Pots, it's a pressure cooker. For it to naturally like depressurize, probably another 30 minutes. We're probably gonna go after a full hour cooking this thing, but really it's only gonna be cooking for 30 minutes. The rest of it's just gonna be sitting there simmering and kind of doing its thing. So this guy, we're gonna go with a, I always do meat stew, I feel like, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Meat stew. Bam, 25 minutes set. Let it pressurize while this is cooking. Let's get the steak going. Chew! Now we are on to the fat covered breast. We just did one of them. We're not sure how it's gonna turn out, but when I went online, there's two ways to cook this. A lot of them were like this, but then again, we're going with like a, this is your safe bet, okay? Yeah, again, Instapot's never turned us down, never done anything wrong to us. This guy on the other hand's a little dicey, but I will say the fat cap on this guy is, I mean, that's insane, dude. Like, I understand why the Muscovies are sought after duck to eat, because it looks really good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna crank this guy up and get him going, and what we're gonna do is we normally do a 224, which is what we do with wood duck. Which, explain that to me, Banjo. Well, this thing sounds like a rocket ship. Explain what? A 224. Yeah, do fat side down for two minutes. With what With what bird do we usually do? Wood duck. Wood duck. Best it's fat. I don't know why, wood duck but is everybody fine. loves wood duck fat. Yes. I don't so know why. So, two on this side, two on the other side, and then four minutes in the oven at 400. We're going to just take a stab and probably do like a three or four minute on the fat side, three or four minute on the other side, and then in the oven for maybe five minutes. But, important thing you do is score the fat. Take it up, but you don't want to cut all the way through it. So I got the sharpest knife I thought I had, which it didn't seem dull. <laughs> this thing isn't really. I think doing a whole lot of scoring. I think your thumb might have dulled this knife out. Yeah, that is really dull. What the heck happened there? So you, you want to score, but you really don't want to cut like into the meat. So yeah, which is kind of hard because my knife isn't very sharp. But you do a cross score. This is like this is like the way harder than you would think. You're watching this going, has this guy never used a knife? But like it doesn't really want to slice, but I don't want to go too deep. I mean, it's scored, but yeah, like, it's not, it good. it's not my best work. So she scored. What are you going with, some wild game? Wild game. I know it's not wild, but I think it might taste wild. All so. right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover up nicely with some wild game, and I might throw, might throw a little bit of all meat on there, so there it is. Oh, yeah. Now we got it shaken up nice. We're gonna do that, and I think a little bit of all meat never hurt nobody. Yeah, baby. And all them nice little score marks. Mm-hmm. Pack it in there. Not that thing looks pretty good. That does look good now. All right. Now cover this side up nicely. What do you think? Do we should do any little oil in this thing? I kind of forgot. Need garlic butter. 
See, I kind of forgot to make the, have this thing be a cold pan than a hot pan. I thought we were going to get that done faster. Really? So now it's, a, now it's a hot pan. Yeah, a little garlic butter. I mean, it's probably it's a hot pan. <laughs> it's probably hot. She ain't cold. Yeah. Turn that sucker to the moon. How hot did you have your pan? That yeah, that, that pan might be too hot. All right, so what we'll do is, is we'll take this. Go ahead and give, give it a little butter. And we'll go cold pan and let it come to temp, which should help render the fat down, which was my plan. I got totally distracted once the score mark stopped happening, and it was just downhill <laughs> from there. Yeah, That'll sure. work. You're going to have a lot of fat from the duck. So. Bam. So throw them in there. We're going to go ahead and turn this guy on. If I can remember. Now it's locked. Type in the secret passcode. 6969? Six, nine, six, nine. Yep. 7. Okay. I, don't, I don't know how else to go. <laughs> yeah, it's 7. So we're going to let this thing heat up, cook down, flip it, throw it in the oven. By the time that's done, that guy should be about done. We're gonna have a backyard farm duck feast. You guys stay tuned. Sheesh! Look at that fat baby. Mm hmm. She's cooking down nicely. So that was probably five minutes on that side just to get it a little crispy. Now we're cooking on this side to brown up the other side, throw it in the oven, and get it to about 130, 135. I'm feeling good. You feeling good? I'm feeling great. He doesn't look great. What's wrong over there? You look like your deathbed. What's going on over there? That looks like it's on his deathbed. Yeah, that don't. I, I think it's going to be good. I think it's going to be good. Does it look good right now? No. Not doesn't really. Doesn't look that great. You got to stay tuned. Shoo! Going in the oven, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! 375. Yeah. It was... I don't know what that is. Right? What's going on there? I look like that. It's like a sneeze, but it won't... Oh. Oh. Can going to turn into a cough, or... Yeah! All right, boys, well, the good news is that sucker's going in for a few minutes. It was like 1.15. Mm -hmm. I guess like 1.30 something. So this thing is now done. Oh, oh, yeah. out. <laughs> How is that not depressurized yet? I thought it would be done by now. Shit! Look at that steam, boys. Mmm. Oh, you know what it reminds me of? Just because, just because, I don't want this to get in your head. Like, just to say raccoon in our show. It does. It <laughs> smells just like the raccoon we make. Doesn't it? It's because we use the same yeah. recipe, but like, yeah. it just. I mean, honestly, I just smell this. Though. It, it, it just, smell, that, it this just reminds me of the raccoons. This, this barbecue is okay. I'm more of a Sweet Bay Ray's kind of guy. This is just what we had laying around. So I figured I might as well use up that for this, but for the good stuff, the, the dressing we got to use. You just pissed off everyone in Kansas City. Because Jack Stack Barbecue is the guy? Yeah, it's Kansas City Barbecue. He's the guy. It's okay. I mean, I use, I'm using it. I'm just, I'm saying if I'm going to dump a bunch and kind of waste it, sorry, it's going to be this. If I'm going to put the nectar on top of my sandwich of Sweet Baby Ray's. I'm, I just like the sweeter. I'm, that's just me. Though. I just can't wait to roll and watch these comments. I'm a big Gates guy. Yeah, Gates is good. I just, I, whatever. Kansas City Barbecue. Is that's, that your thing? Oh, yeah. I really? Love City barbecue. So the real question is, how tender is this? Oh, hang on. Oh, oh, look at, oh, dude. It's falling apart. Oh, no, this is gonna be fire. Oh yeah, Dude. that's cold. Wow. I was gonna say maybe like if I throw it in a bowl, kind of mash it a little bit maybe. Look at that, dude. Dude, the, I'm telling you, the Instant Pot is the greatest invention yeah, on the freaking is. planet, dude. That is amazing. All right, it cooked for what was it, 20 or 25? Yep. Got to temp and then sat there for about another hour. And now here we are. All the nectar we got. It did shrivel down quite a bit. Yeah. Oh yeah, Banjo. Look what we got dangling here. Mm-hmm. Dress it some sweet babies. Yeah. Should we try it? Should we try it raw? Sure. Should we get in there? What do you think? Pretty good. A little wang to it, not bad. A little wang? It's a little wangy. At the end, there's a little game. Yeah. It's good though. I, I don't like the end of that. You, you put the barbecue sauce on there, yeah. it's going to make it a good sandwich. It needs it. Yeah. It needs the barbecue sauce. It, I ends with the, it ends with the smell of the duck. Oh. Yeah. Just yeah. a little bit. like the, the poop taste of the duck. It's, it's just... Eating carol. Okay, it's not as good as I thought, but I think if you do this... Okay, hear me out. You're not. You're going to make it wet. Yeah, I'm making it wet. You're not putting it on your own, huh? No, you just got you to gotta get like... Now everybody gets sweet babies. <laughs> yeah, you don't have choice now. I was getting other stuff. Were you? Yeah. This just gets it... Just. A little, just a little coating, and so it's actually mixed in with it. And then, if you want to top it off with something else, that's yeah, it's called wet. You made wet barbecue sauce. Versus, wet barbecue versus dry yeah. barbecue. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Well, it tastes like ass. I was figured we better call an audible here and just make it, it. It wasn't bad. It just it, it, the aftertaste was the smell of the duck. Do you think this one's gonna have that too? I I don't know. That makes me we more nervous. Make now. sure we don't. I say that, that's probably it's probably, probably done. Huh? Yeah. Sheesh! The order rooms ain't got nothing on us, boys. Really. Yeah, that wasn't my 
I really thought we were going to be able to cook it out. Now, keep in mind, we didn't let it rest at all. I mean, we went straight from the, the harvest, the cast net, to the Instapot pot in like yeah. 20 minutes. <laughs> well, he did, right? Well, he he got cast netted. Their slaw is the worst. That's not even, that looks like freaking cottage cheese with carrots. What the hell is that? I like some cottage cheese. Though. I love cottage I cheese. I hate cottage, cottage cheese. cheese. That's way better than this. I hate like half a thing of cottage oh. cheese. Oh, yeah, I, got, I got the big thing in the yeah, yeah, the big one. Sam's Club Bowl. You just you freaking kind of sick. sick. I eat tortilla chips, cottage yeah, cheese. Chips, tortilla yeah. chips are good with Lays, it. Lay's potato chips. You put chips. a little salt in there, too. Yeah. yeah. It's really good. That, you guys are f***ed up. That's disgusting. Lay's potato chips, cottage cheese. You got to try it. No, I'm out on that. All right, boys, here we go. Pulled Muscovy barbecue sandwich. Now, are you a coleslaw on top or a side? I, if it's the right kind of coleslaw on top, that yeah. cottage cheese looking stuff is not, it, like, I like the more like vegetable stringy, kind, like mm -hmm. more of like a, like a purple cabbage yeah. type yeah. guy. Like, I feel like that's usually mm -hmm. what I like going for. Got it. Wet. Oh yeah. Dude, if this thing has that aftertaste, I'm gonna be so disappointed. Why do people say it's like the filet mignon of it just tasted like the smell, you know, and that smells pretty, yeah. pretty bad. Mm -hmm. It's just a, it's like a, it's a wet dog mixed with sh Like, it's just, about that? Dude, that is disgusting. That is not even, I don't know how they call it cottage cheese. Are you taking, it's not cottage cheese. Or, uh, this is, well, it looks Are like you taking it. some or no? I gotta try it naked first. All right, with the barbecue sauce, with the bun, here we go. Uh, not really. No, man. Mm. You don't like it? See, I didn't get an appetizer in that one, though. No. Really? It's because you didn't eat sweet babies. <laughs> my, my, boy, my boy, sweet baby, got me covered. <laughs> Could you not, taste it? No, I don't taste it. It's just not that great. I see. I if that was my first bite, I'd be stoked right now. I'd be like, oh, this is the, this is filet mignon. Yeah. You didn't like that second bite, but you liked it raw. I didn't say I liked it raw. There was oh. a lot of game. The game taste is got good. It's just not the consistency is kind of weird. I don't know. It's a little chewier. Yeah, it just doesn't been pulled pork. Like pulled pork. I don't know. For the for the hype it gets. Yeah. I is, I is I raccoon better in the spot? About the same. Really? Beaver? Uh, Beaver's better. Beaver's better. Yeah. Way better. I think it's probably on the same level of raccoon. Yeah. Like which I was expecting more. Where it's just like, yeah, it doesn't taste bad, but it doesn't taste amazing. All right, I'll go ahead and slaw. I'll throw slaw some slaw in here. No. No. <laughs> Dude, that's not even food. What the hell is that? We do eat his whole side of it. Dude, that is disgusting. <laughs> I don't like slaw on my barbecue, but on the side it's alright. That is bad. It's not good. That's the worst slaw I've ever had in my entire life. Oh my god. That is disgusting. How did you even take a bite of that? That's terrible. Do you want to make a sandwich? How are you feeling about this? Sure. Do you want to try it? Or do you want to take... Do you I, like the slaw? The whiff I'm catching off this thing. Is it bad? right here is not great. I just can't get the image of these gross little ducks out of my head. It's not, I don't think it's as bad as we're making it seem. Once it's in sandwich form with the sauce, I don't think it's that bad. There's a little wang to it. It's, yeah, just a what little bit. That? It's a little wang, a little ass. Is that apple cider vinegar? <laughs> you, you think that's what, you told me. You think that's, that's what, what the it recipe is? said. Maybe that's what it is. It's a little wangy, I feel like. You eating that with a spoon? bird isn't bad, like the meat isn't bad, like the texture's fine, but there's a weird little taste to that. Yeah, I'm not a fan. Raccoon gets better. Yeah, I like agree. Like it gets more pulled porky. That's still just like, kind of like meat, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's just not, yeah. stringy. Yeah, it's, it's not good. I mean, come on now. I think that looks pretty good. Not bad. What do you think? Looks like medium pretty rare. Pretty medium rare. I mean, it looks great, I'm gonna say. Like the way we cooked it. Mm -hmm. If we cooked a mallard and it looked like this, yeah. I'd be stoked. Yeah, I agree. I'd... How do you feel about it? Are you just gonna go in for it? I guess. Should I cut that thing in half or are you gonna eat the whole thing? I can chew. Oh. Yeah, I don't know if you can though. <laughs> She's a dense bird. Yeah, cut that thing in half. <laughs> She's a dense bird. <laughs> so I was like, I maybe we should cut this thing in half. I can chew, can you though? I didn't think it was gonna be rubber. You didn't even eat the fat side. Not yet. I was saving that for the second bite. Taste is okay, but it's pretty... I was going to say, 
Tastes Scotch good. Scotch steak, yeah. yeah but really. it's pretty tough. It's, it's really tough. That tastes better than that. Yeah, like, no, it does. Weird. Yeah. Wonder where, how'd we go wrong there? That fat's good. It's the same thing. Why doesn't that one taste like ass? That one, like, I feel like maybe that duck was messed up. Maybe. Because if you took that breast and did what we did, mm -hmm. it shouldn't have had, like, it, it didn't taste like the smell of them. No. Mm. That was pretty dang good. Oh. All the people that said this is like filet mignon, I nah, think I think you're lying. Stretch. But I mean, it looks, and I can see, like, it's a very presentable dish. Like, I feel like the fat cap on Like, if I got this at a fancy restaurant, I'm like, oh, buddy in the back knows what he's doing, you know? Like, <laughs> he got Ramsey just chefing it up. Like a high-end piece of meat. And it's definitely tough, but it's really good. Like, I'm waiting for a wang, I'm waiting for a tang. I ain't getting it. You feeling that one or no? Just a little tough. Yeah, it's just really tough. But, I mean, the taste is good. I would say, still say filet mignon is... Uh, it's not about filet mignon, but like the taste tastes just like, like a steak. Sandhill crane, whatever we're eating right now. You think so? <laughs> whatever we're eating. You think yeah. so? It looks great. I know, it, it's really not bad. It's just, minus it being tough, just give it a second. The flavor ain't, it ain't bad. I mean... It don't have a wang to it. There's no wang! I think we got, we got done goof on the first one. Cause there was a lot of wang. There's no tang. There's no wang. It's, it's like pretty solid. steak. There's no fat. We might have messed up on the first one. All right. Before, before we completely throw this thing away, I'm gonna say, if we could have made the Instapot one, not be wangy, I think we'd all be saying this is pretty solid. I agree. It's still a little tough and chewy. It's not quite as like tender as pulled pork. But for people to look at us and say this is a really good tasting animal after what we eat. I'm gonna say no. I wouldn't go to the. Auction I can make the raccoon taste better. Yeah. Put it, I'm just throw it out there. I wouldn't go to the auction and bid on this bird. No. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's okay. If you guys have eaten Muscovies, let us know in the comments down below and how do you cook it. We figured we're gonna give them the best chance, cook them two different ways, and both of them I would not say is all that great. I think we've we've made better raccoon. We've made better uh, beaver in the past, in my opinion. It's okay. It, it, I think if, again, we got a little, something got a little tangy and wangy in the Instant Pot, and then the steak itself was a little bit on the tough side, but I think the flavor wasn't too bad. Overall, I'd give this critter maybe a six. What are you thinking? 5.8. Yeah, I was thinking mid five. Five to six. I think Raccoon seven, this is probably six. What's Possum four? Possum's four. Okay. This beats Possum. Yeah, yeah. Not this year, though. I don't know if we've done possum Instapot, have we? See? So. The tables are going to turn. I'm telling you guys. What? Well, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Remember, the pepper drop is now live. Link down description down below at beefcakejerky.com. We'll kick it in.